tell me, actually, because I know I've got viewers all over the world, Australia, South Africa, lots in America and Canada. Do you have anything similar to this, wherever you are? Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm taking an opportunity to wander around Antiques on High in Taunton whilst it's quiet, because this is Monday market day. And it's a wild place, this, because when you come in first thing on a Monday morning, it is ramped with people. And it is now, what is that, just around two o'clock, just after lunch. And this is the quiet time. So this is when I can really just have a good wander without the crowds. Because after lunch, it goes mud again. Now this is, I believe, it's certainly one of the biggest antique centres in Britain. It's biggest in the Antiques on High chain. They've got five of them. The biggest antique centre in Europe is in Helmswell, but that's spread over five or six units. This has got to be the biggest antique centre in the United Kingdom in one place. So you see the dealers are all just sat down. Can you see? They've had a mad rush. They're resting and waiting for the afternoon run. So we're just going to sneak by. How are you doing? How are you doing? Are you resting? Are you having a break? Making coffee. Making coffee, that's exactly what I mean. Now this is interesting. So this is a, a stall that has been kind of uh, revamped. Vincent will, will re-carpet this and then it'll be waiting for a new dealer. So. All of these cubicles you see, including this one here, these are all owned by individual dealers. So that's what it is. It's a big collaboration of dealers. And I think in here, in Taunton, there's about 100 dealers. So each and every one of these bays are individual dealers. Now remember, you might have seen videos from here before that this is supposed to be the most haunted antiques center shop in Britain and I think once you put that into your mind and you start wandering around maybe the hairs on the back of your head start to prickle because they are for me <laughs> and I've been here many times and on an evening and I wouldn't say it's a horrible atmosphere because it's a great atmosphere but maybe you do get a sense of things it could be you know, all these incredibly old pieces. I mean, actually that, sometimes you see things that really tickle you, that is lovely. Travel trunk, certainly 19th century, incredibly worn and beaten up, but that has got massive potential. What for? Certainly not for traveling. You wouldn't take that to Torremolinos, would you? No chance, but you would make it into the most fantastic coffee table and I would barely restore it. I'd clean the metal, is that leather? Polish the leather, maybe even put a glass top on there, and that would be amazing. It is 90 pounds, it's no money, is it? Just amazing. If you're going to visit, Taunton and this antique centre. You really need to give yourself a lot of time, remember that. A lot of time. Hours, in fact. In fact, I stayed over last night. <laughs> it wouldn't be a bad idea actually to stay over and have a couple of visits. So there's so much down there as well, all over. I'm going to take you upstairs. Follow me. See if you can sense the ghosties. Now, I think, quite possibly, for a bit of excitement, where I'm going to take you next is my favourite area. Hello. <laughs> it kind of goes a bit mad down here. Coming by, coming by. This is where 
it goes crazy. Just feast your eyes. <laughs> I mean, seriously, if you've been around the world of antiques for a number of decades, like I have, this will take you back in time. This is how antique centres were very many years ago. Just stuff everywhere. And antique dealers are not known for being the most tidy people on the planet. And I include myself. <laughs> this is just how it is. But this, I've got to tell you, is a sign of a busy place. It's just stuff going on. Wheeling and dealing. It's almost medieval, isn't it? In its style. And whatever you can imagine, you can find. It's true. It's just, it makes me laugh as well. Vincent's laughing, it makes me laugh. It's crazy, this place. It is crazy. But, I, you know, whatever happens, one day it won't be here because places like this, it'll be sanitised probably. A new dealer will come in and, and they'll make it all tidy and clean. So come and see it while you've got these old school dealers. They're marvellous. They really are. Hello there. The tax man's not looking for you, is he? No. It's no. The, um, the other lot. <laughs> the other lot. OK, we don't want to know. <laughs> how are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, Good I'm to fine. see you. Yeah. Good to see you. This is crazy. Tell me, actually, because I know I've got viewers all over the world, Australia, South Africa, lots in America and Canada. Do you have anything similar to this? wherever you are. It's a lifestyle. I mean, look, I'm going to just hone in here. So what have we got? A Georgian tea caddy. There you go, with its original interior. Missing its glass, but there's the dividers. So a Georgian tea caddy, circa 1790, in mahogany, sat next to, what's that? A bit of soapstone, oriental, probably Japanese, 20th century glass. Indian brass box, 20th century, fishing reel, <laughs> walking sticks, all within, what, one square foot? Chamber stick, late 19th century. It's just wild. It's just wild. Vincent, never change it. <laughs> 